a political giant in Kansas and across the country. Senator Bob Dole served in Congress for more than three decades. Robert Joseph Dole was born July 22, 1923 in Russell, Kansas. His father ran a grain elevator. His mom, a traveling saleswoman who sold sewing machines and vacuum cleaners. After graduating high school in 1941, he enrolled at the University of Kansas, recruited to play basketball by legendary coach Fog Allen. The United States entry into World War II interrupted Senator Dole's college years. He joined the U.S. Army in 1942. He deployed to Italy in 1944. A year later, he suffered severe injuries to his upper back and shoulder after getting shot. Rescuers got to him after he laid in a foxhole for almost nine hours. Medics at the time thought he might not survive, but he did. The wounds left him with some physical limitations. He spent more than three years recovering. The attack left him with limited use of his right arm and hand. Senator Dole received two Purple Hearts and a Bronze Star. After recovering, he returned to college, this time at Washburn University in Topeka. He later graduated with an undergraduate and law degree. Senator Dole married in 1948, a therapist at a veterans hospital in Michigan named Phyllis Holden. They had a daughter named Robin. Phyllis and Senator Dole divorced in 1972. Three years later, he married his second wife, Elizabeth. He turned to politics in 1950, running for the Kansas House of Representatives. Two years later, voters elected him to county attorney for Russell County. In 1960, Senator Dole ran for Congress and won. Eight years later, he ran for the U.S. Senate and won. He served in the upper chamber for five terms. His national profile grew in 1971 as he became the chairman of the Republican National Committee. In 1976, he joined the Republican ticket, running with President Gerald Ford as his VP. That campaign highlighted with the Republican National Convention at Kemper Arena in Kansas City. The Ford Dole ticket lost to Jimmy Carter. Senator Dole ran for president unsuccessfully in 1980 and 1988. Back in the Senate, he served as the Republican leader from 1985 to 1996. He earned a reputation for being a consensus builder and bringing people from both sides of the aisle together. As the 96 presidential campaign started, Senator Dole set his eyes on the White House again. Many saw the Senate Majority Leader as the front runner for the GOP nomination. At the age of 73, he officially became the party's nominee at the Republican National Convention in San Diego. Senator Dole picked former New York Congressman Jack Kemp as his running mate. They lost in a landslide to President Bill Clinton and Vice President Al Gore. After leaving politics, Senator Dole remained active in a number of causes fighting hunger around the world. He became an advocate for people with disabilities. He fought for better health care for military veterans. He helped raise money for a World War II memorial in Washington, D.C. In 2003, the Robert J. Dole Institute of Politics opened at the University of Kansas in Lawrence. He wanted to make sure the Institute isn't a shrine to Bob Dole. Instead, he wanted it to encourage public service and civilized debate. He received a number of awards over his lifetime. President Clinton presented him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1997. He received the American Patriot Award in 2004 for his service to the country and in World War II. Senator Dole went on a statewide tour in 2014 to thank Kansans for giving him the privilege to serve the state. In January 2018, President Donald Trump awarded Senator Dole the Congressional Gold Medal for his service to the nation. In September of 2018, Washburn University honored him with a statue on campus. In December of 2018, a touching tribute from Senator Dole to honor President George Herbert Walker Bush. An aide helped him stand and salute the former president's casket in the Capitol Rotunda. The next year, Congress unanimously voted to promote him from captain to colonel for his service in the U.S. Army. He called it humbling, and he was incredibly grateful.